one coming out, brand new one, mm -hmm. in March. Now, as you know, on this show, we have this surprise guest store. And a couple of times, Charlie and I have been surprised by someone. I, the producer set this up and we didn't even know. Right. Well, tonight we're turning the tables a bit. That's right. We have a surprise for you, the audience, for you watching at home. And we'll give you some clues, okay? We just don't want to bring our guest right on out. So let me give you some clues, see if you can determine who it is, okay? If you know the answer, yell it out, all right? Mm -hmm. Don't be bashful. First clue. I know you're not. Last name of the character that this person played was Summers. It was the last name of the character this Summers. person played. Summers. Nobody knows That's yet? That's not enough. Okay. Uh, the show, television show, in which this character appeared, and our guest, first appeared in 1964 and is still seen all across the country. It's really, it's a classic series. You're getting more. No clue yet. Okay, one more. This person was shipwrecked with some very odd characters. Okay, all right. Is that your clue? <laughs> uh, she was the level-headed one and was also the best cook. You know who it is? You know who it is? It's Mary Ann. Mary Ann Summers. Say hello to Dawn Wells on Music City tonight. Hi, No, it's Hello. not a bit much at all. Is this, Please uh, make, right is this fresh from the island? This is fresh from the island. Oh my! Just swam in with it. wasn't wasn't too difficult. No, what a minute. talented lady! Let's get a good look at Dawn Wells. A lot of people oh. say, well, "Let's see Dawn Wells. You mm. are gorgeous, and you oh, look just like man. you did on the Aren't series." Nice? It must be a cloud over the lens or something. No, Thank you. no. Well, look at it. Did you bake this yourself? No, I did not bake that today. You didn't. Okay. But I've been on the cooking show today. I've been doing my bit, but I didn't bake okay. that today. No, I we like a lady who comes out going straight for my heart. Well, this is a really good recipe. This is my great grandmother's recipe. No kidding. Yeah, uh, in in the cookbook, I have a Gilligan's Island cookbook out, which we're going to talk about. I know, yeah. but there are recipes from my family, three generations from my mom. And Mary Ann was a coconut cream pie lover. How did Sherwood Schwartz know that it was my real favorite pie? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so this is, I have 13 recipes in that book, but this is number one. Well, let's show them the book. It's yeah. Mary Ann's okay. Gilligan's Island cookbook. Mm -hmm. And as she said, there are some great recipes in here. And I have to ask you, though, Don. see, when I was young, it was really not a treat for me to go into the kitchen and try to cook with my mom. For some reason, I did not really? enjoy it. Didn't did, like to do it. Did you love it from the very yeah, beginning? Yeah. You did. See, I well, think my mother didn't let me do a lot when I was real little. Yeah. She did all the cooking, and, and it was always, you know, fresh vegetables and everything. This is not just tropical, either. It's really good mm -hmm. home cooking. But I have two wonderful co-authors that are Nashville. Ken well, Beck right. and Jim Clark are from Nashville. Oh, that's right. right. We yeah. Know them. And they did all the wonderful little trivia. If you're not a cook, it's a fun book anyway because there's a lot of Gilligan's Island backstage stories. And mm -hmm. Now, see, this is what makes this even even more special because oh, I want to show you one of these photos. There you go. Here's that one. Oh, that's tough to do. Bob Denver and <laughs> 30 years ago. And Dawn in her uh, shipwrecked bathing suit there. A <laughs> lot of great photos from the making of the show and behind the scenes. That's a remarkable show, and I guess there are a lot of reasons why it's still around. I mean, it, it, since it first aired in 64, it's never been off the air. We are the longest running show in the history of syndication. We passed I Love Lucy four years ago. I didn't know that. We are in 30 languages as we speak at this moment. I don't understand it. <laughs> it's a, you know, it, I guess I it does make it. you... Do you understand it? It makes you wonder. It you makes know, you think about it. I was reading a couple of things about Gilligan's Island, and the one thing, and, and I think you pointed this out, is that there are no cars to yeah. date it. Yeah. The surroundings, you cannot date. They're very uh -huh. generic. So yeah. it could run it forever. It's kind of a little message that, that it's international humor. You have to understand our politics to understand Murphy Brown. Mm -hmm. You don't have to understand anything to understand Gilligan's Island. It can be in any language, and it's yeah. silly and fun. And I think the little morals of all living together and sharing and all the little morals that you try to put into the show uh, works when it's not dated. You don't have a 56 Chevrolet in the parking lot and, and try to say it's Leave it to Beaver. You know, the kids kind of accept it today. It's three generations. I mean, it's I just know. fascinating to me. I know. What, uh, looking back, did you realize you were doing something so important in television no. history? No. I bet you did. No idea. And the critics hated us, you know. And we were, when we were canceled, we were in the top 20. Oh. So they wouldn't do that anymore, even. How many shows did you do? I know you did for like three or four seasons. Three seasons only, 98. 98 shows. First year, black and white. No oh, kidding, I didn't realize right. that. Yeah. And was it, was it all shot in, like on a back lot? I mean, those beautiful scenes? The pilot film was shot on the island of Kauai, and all the long shots that you see of the island are Kauai, but everything else was shot at CBS Studio Center, which is mm -hmm. MTM Studios now, uh, about a mile and a half from the freeway. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, the Gilligan's Island set is now the Roseanne show. Oh, it is? Yeah. So we've all come along uh, it's here. interesting how things change. Well, I tell you what people remember and always talk about is that Mary Ann figure, which you still have. And yeah. I have to ask you how you keep it. It's not that coconut cream pie. Yeah, I want to, can we taste this 
pie. I want to taste this pie. All right. It's a good one. Really now, this is the, the recipe that is in the book, yeah. right? Page okay. 217. Do we, can we just, we don't even have a plate. Do we just dig right? Yeah, she, that's what I said. A, don't cut it, just hey, dig in. She's a real good cook. Are you a good cook? Yeah. I'm a terrible This cook. is a pie. I Lord understand. <laughs> and the little white room with all the white furniture in it is the kitchen. That's what my mother used to say. Where all those white appliances are. And I do know what meringue is. Okay. But it's really nice because it's not real, real sweet. No, go ahead. I'll get one. This is an awfully large bite. Don't do a close up while I do this. No, 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 no. This is this really though is a fun cookbook, and uh, oh, oh, oh. And, and the good, thing, <laughs> the thing yeah. about uh, Gilligan's mm. Island is that so many people have all their lives have been affected by the show, and here you read about it firsthand. Yeah. And I guess a lot of people are curious, how close are the cast members? Now I know, you know, unfortunately, three uh, of us are three gone. Of, three of them are mm -hmm. gone. The Howells are gone, and the Skipper's gone. Um, the Howells are very much like their characters, both of them. Uh, <laughs> Natalie Schaefer especially. She was just a joy. She uh, mm -hmm. had this wonderful little helplessness about her, and she was as sharp as a fox, one of those. Yeah. Uh, Jim Backus was a lovely man. He shared his comedy, and not many comedians do that. The give and take, and he'd say, cut out that word, it's, you'll get a bigger laugh, or this is funnier if you try it this way. Really? Yeah, he was wonderful. The Skipper was probably one of the nicest, warmest, dearest human beings that ever walked the face of the earth. Oh. I never saw him angry. I never saw him upset about anything. Yeah. He was genuine. Um, the professor, who's got a book out also, is hysterical. He's very okay. funny. And you would never know he had a sense of humor. You'd never think it. No, and of course, Ginger is as beautiful uh, off camera as she is on. But Bob is the most different. Gilligan. Yeah, Gilligan. He's very quiet. He's introverted. He's shy. He's, um, I think, not real comfortable with his celebrity. Would rather be off by himself and kind of private. He's very different. And I, of course, am Marianne to the core, you know. Yeah, you are. You, are. you, know, you seem to be very much the same person. Mm -hmm. Kind of a little bit. I was raised okay. with that, you know, that work ethic and yeah. kindness and sharing and all those, those things that your mom teaches you um, was part of my household, and that's very Marianne, in a way. Yeah, well, you're very approachable. You really are. I, yeah. feel like, I feel like a rat over here. You're eating the whole just, thing, Charlie. <laughs> Yeah, what do you hole think of it? It's the size it's, of a crater now. This is great. What page is this on? Two seventeen. It's the first. Oh, you've got this done. memorized. You know? Page two seventeen. Let me check this and see if it's on two seventeen. Just, okay. just to see. Marianne's favorite coconut cream mm -hmm. pie. I think it it's called. It is. Coconut she cream knows pie. the book. You want and to try really this, folks? Hard. This it's is available, hard. I guess, bookstores all over the place. Bookstores right? all over. It's been out a month. We're into our third printing. Mm -hmm. It's really exciting. I've been traveling all over the country with it, and it's wonderful to see the three generations of people that come and come to the book signings, and it's Christmas presents, and I'm having a really good time. Well, what fun! You have some wonderful television work to be proud of. You're part mm -hmm. of history and now you're taking a little step further and having a lot of fun with it yeah. and I hope people pick up on it. It's nice to meet you. Thanks I'm for really coming by and saying hello to us tonight. Thank you so much. John Wells Thanks everyone. Today. More Music City Tonight's coming yeah. up. We'll be back. Straight ahead, more music from John Anderson and Carolyn Sapp on Music City Tonight with Brooke and Chase.